Now that you've taken your photos, let's jump into the editing process. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through creating a fun clone chaos project in Adobe Photoshop. Be sure to save your work frequently along the way. Let's begin with step two. First, open Photoshop to get started. To get started, create a new document by going to File, then New. Set the dimensions based on your photos. For example, if you're working with HD images, a size of 1920 by 1080 pixels works well. Next, let's add your first photo as the background. Go to File, then place Embedded, or simply drag and drop your image into the document. Position this photo as your base layer. Now it's time to import the rest of your photos. Drag and drop each one into the document. They'll automatically appear as separate layers in your Layers panel, which you can see on the right side. If any photos don't line up perfectly, don't worry. Use the Move tool or press V on your keyboard to adjust their placement. For finer adjustment, you can use Ctrl T or Command T on a Mac to transform your and resize the images as needed. Now for the fun part, bringing your clones to life. First, select the top layer of the clone you want to show. In the Layers panel, click on the layer of that photo. Then, add a layer mask by clicking the Add Layer Mask. This icon is at the bottom of the panel. It looks like a rectangle with a circle in the middle. Next, select the Brush tool by pressing B. Make sure your brush is soft and set the foreground color to black. Then you paint with black on the mask. It hides parts of the layer. White will bring things back if you make a mistake. Now, carefully brush over the areas you want to hide, like the background or parts that overlap other clones. You'll reveal just one clone you want to keep in the scene. Repeat this process for each layer, masking around your clones so that only they appear in your final image. Be sure to work slowly around the edges of each person to make the transition look smooth and natural. Now that your clones are in place, it's time to fine tune the details. Zoom in on any areas where the masking might need some extra attention. Clean up the edges to make sure the clones blend seamlessly into the scene. If your lighting doesn't quite look right, use the Dodge tool or Burn tool to adjust highlights and shadows. You can also tweak the brightness and contrast under Image, then Adjustments. Or use Curves for more precise control. This helps maintain consistency in lighting across all your clones. If you have clones interacting like giving each other high fives, make sure they are positioned correctly and mask carefully around their hands and faces for a realistic effect. For some added flair, you can enhance your image with creative elements. Try adding text by using the Type tool or experiment with fun fonts and colors to give your scene a title or caption. You can also apply filters to tie the whole image together. For example, go to Filter, then Camera Raw Filter for some color adjustments or use a subtle Gaussian Blur to create depth. For even more excitement, add special effects like smoke or glowing lights by using custom brushes or overlays. This can take your clone chaos scene to the next level.
finally, don't forget to save your work. Go to File, then Save As, and choose PSD to keep all your layers intact for future editing. When you're ready to share your masterpiece, go to File, Export, then Export As, choose JPEG, set your quality and resolution, and hit Export. Here are a few tips to help you along the way. Zoom in when masking for more precise control around the edges. If you make a mistake, use Control-Z or Command-Z to undo your mistake. 